Reverse curves are a type of horizontal curve similar with compound curves with division and the centers. Check out concepts and examples here in engineering surveys. A reverse curve is composed of two or more simple curves turning in opposite directions. In other words, two curves are attached to each other and the centers of the curves are on opposite sides of the proposed route of travel. Their points of intersection lie on the opposite sides of a common tangent and the PT of the first curve is coincident with the PC of the second. This point is called the point of reverse curve or PRC. Also, the point of intersection will be involving the back tangent of the first curve with the forward tangent of the second curve. There are four types of reverse curves categorized from the radii and tangents. The radii can be classified as equal and unequal, whereas the tangents are grouped under parallel and converging. From these four classes, the types are then reverse curves with equal radii and parallel tangents, then reverse curves with equal radii and converging tangents. Also, we have reverse curves with an equal radii and parallel tangents, and lastly, reverse curves with an equal radii and converging tangents. The tangents of a reverse curve are taken as the back tangent of the first curve and the forward tangent of the second curve. In parallel tangents, these two elements of the different simple curves are parallel. In this type of tangents, the perpendicular distance between the two parallel tangents is denoted as P. From PRC, P can be computed as the distances M1 and M2. So P is computed as M1 plus M2. Also, the distance between the PC and PT is denoted as AB, which is computed as L1 plus L2. The distance between the PC and the PT can be derived by projecting the distance of PC to the PRC, and so is PT, so we can say that distance AB is equal to L1 and L2. Extracting the triangle formed by the curve, we can integrate L1. By using sine of delta 1, which is L1 all over R1, L1 is then computed as R1 times sine of delta 1. L2 will be computed similarly. So AB can be taken as just the summation of these two lengths, turning the equation as R1 times sine of delta 1 plus R2 times sine of delta 2. For equal radii, the delta will also be equal to yield parallel tangents. So R1 is R2, which is also just denoted as R. By simplifying these two parameters, distance AB can be taken as 2R sine of delta. If we are to derive the distance P in parallel tangents reverse curves, we can start from the distribution of distances from the PRC to the tangents. Let's call them m1 and m2. So we can say that p is equal to m1 plus m2. By using the right triangle of a curve, we can integrate m1 and the procedure will be the same in sorting out m2. From the radius, m1 is taken as r less than distance O1a. Now we only need to figure out what is O1a and that is done by trigonometric functions. Take the cosine of delta 1 as O1a all over the hypotenuse R1. So O1a is then measured as R1 times cosine of delta 1. And similarly, O2b for the other curve is computed as R2 times cosine of delta 2. Now, 
M1 can be computed as R1 less R1 times cosine of delta 1, which can then be simplified as R1 times 1 minus cosine of delta 1. And this is again similar to look for M2. Thus, P, which is the summation of M1 and M2, is derived as R1 times 1 minus cosine of delta 1 plus R2 times 1 minus cosine of delta 2. This equation is used for different radii curves, giving different angles. For equal radii, radius can be simplified as r, so the equation can be simplified as 2r times 1 minus cosine of delta. Example 1. The parallel tangents of a reverse curve are 12 meters apart. The chord length from the PC to the PT is 150 meters. A. Compute the length of the common tangent. B. Determine the equal radius of the reverse curve. And C. Determine PC, PRC, and PT if station A at the beginning of the tangent with common direction is 3 plus 420. The stated problem can be clearly understood with the proper illustration. An equal radar reverse curve will be dealt with parallel tangents. So the parallel tangents from the PC to PT will be 12 meters apart. The chord form has the length of 150 meters. Another given is the station of point A. From description, point A is the vertex of the first curve and it is stationed at 3 plus 420. The first requirement is the common tangent which is designated as AB. With the limited given, figure out triangles to solve for the other elements. In this case, we can start with a big triangle using the distance of tangents as a leg and a connected chord of 150 meters as the hypotenuse. If you recall the previous discussions with simple curves, the angle between the tangent and the long chord of the curve is actually half of delta. So by using the given distances, we can use sine of delta all over 2, which can give the angle of 4.5885 degrees, thus delta is 9.1771 degrees. With the same simple curve description, delta is the angle included in the triangle consisting the common tangent AB. So by using sine of the angle, Length AB is computed as 75.2414 meters. For the equal radius of the reverse curve, since AB has already been solved, this length is equally divided as tangents of the two curves as both have equal radii. The tangent is a function of the radius, so by plugging in the angle delta, we can take the radius of the reverse curve as 468.7583 meters. Now with the stationing when point A is at 3 plus 420. Take the length of the curve with the formula L is equal to delta R times the conversion to pi all over 360 degrees. With the values of the parameters already known, we can solve for L as 75.0813 meters. So starting with station A as 3 plus 420, subtract T of 37.6207, which can locate station of PC as 3 plus 457.6207. Then add the length of the curve, which is 75.0813, which shows the station of PRC, which is at 3 plus 532.7020. Then add again the length of the second curve, which is still 75.0813, giving the station of PT as 3 plus 607.7833. The second example, a reverse curve connects two parallel tangents which are directed due east and are 180 meters apart. The curve has equal radius of 790 meters, where the PC is on the upper tangent and the PT lies on the lower tangent. If the horizontal distance parallel to the tangent from the PC to the PT is 820 meters, compute the following. A. The length of the intermediate tangent between the curves. B. The distance between the centers of the reverse curves. And C. Station PT if station PC is at 10 plus 20.40. In this example, there is an intermediate tangent between the simple curves. 
distance of parallel tangents is 180 meters, where the radius is 790 meters. Horizontal distance PC to PT is also given as 820 meters, and the station PC is at 10 plus 20.40. Let's solve for the length of the intermediate tangent between the curves. Again, configure triangles from the illustration involving the required. Take the midpoint of the tangent and the end of one curve to use as the radius of the curve. For this case, the distance of the intermediate tangent is required, so start with a triangle including the radius and the center of one curve. By using Pythagorean theorem, the sides can have the relationship L squared is equal to R squared plus X squared, where L is simplified as the root of 820 squared plus X squared. By using the same length L, take another triangle using sum of the given. With P given as 180, using the midpoint of the tangent will be using the mid value of the distance which is 90. Similarly, the horizontal distance of 820 is also equally divided, giving the horizontal side of the triangle as 410 meters. The other side will be taken as the radius of 790 meters, less half of P giving 700 meters. The hypotenuse of this triangle is the length L previously solved as root of 790 squared plus X squared. By imploring Pythagorean theorem once more, we can say that L squared is equal to 410 squared plus 700 squared, where L is taken as 790 squared plus X squared. So X is then computed as 184.39 meters. This value of X is half of the intermediate tangent, so multiplying it by 2 will be the length of the intermediate tangent, which is 368.78 meters. The distance between the centers of the reverse curves is taking twice of the length L, so by plugging computed values, we can say O1, O2 is equal to twice of the root of 790 squared plus 184.39 squared, which can then be simplified as 1622.47 meters. For stationing, it is required to know the angle of the curves as radius is already given. To solve for delta, we can use the big triangle's angle. Say, call it beta and subtract the angle from the smaller triangle. From the bigger triangle, tangent of beta is taken as 410 all over 700, which gives beta as 29 degrees 45 minutes. Then by using cosine of the smaller angle phi as 790 all over 811.23, we can solve for phi as 13 degrees 8 minutes. Then as derived earlier, delta is beta less phi and that is 29 degrees 45 minutes less 13 degrees 8 minutes, giving the value of delta as 16 degrees 37 minutes. Knowing delta, Compute for the length of the curve from the formula delta r times the conversion 2 pi all over 360 degrees. By plugging the values, the length of one curve is solved as 229.11 meters. From station PC, which is 10 plus 20.40, add L of 229.11 to get this station starting the intermediate tangent, then add the length of the tangent, which is 368.78, to know the station of the start of the second curve. Add another length L to finally reach station PT at 10 plus 847.40. Mm -hmm.